I've got six avid campers trying out some of the most innovative tents on the market to see if I can get any ideas for my Gadget Builds campsite. There's the cave, a fully inflatable tent that takes just a minute to put up. Not made for the real man. It's quite small, isn't it? Good headroom. The tent style tree tent is designed to keep you away from wet ground and give you the comfort of a hammock. It's got like a hole in the floor as well. That must mean that you can pull yourself up through the middle instead of coming out the front. Finally, this rooftop tent can be bought for a variety of 4x4s and takes just eight seconds to erect. Well, that was easy. <laughs> it's guaranteed to stay put in winds of even 70 miles per hour. Do you think there's room for me up there? Yeah, without that. Yeah? I can stuff it. <laughs> if you had to say which was your favourite, and you do have to say which is your favourite, <laughs> what would you say? The man cave. Yeah, cave. Cave. Yeah. Yeah, cave. yeah, definitely. OK, well, that's very good. Now, you may be wondering where my tent is. Well, I'm, I'm wearing it, and I'm going to show you what the heck I'm talking about. Look at this. <laughs> you unzip it thus. You zip it up here, <laughs> thus, like that. Liam Gallagher particularly <laughs> likes this one. And then you do this, <laughs> and then... Uh, you're kind of oh, ready to go. Outstanding. Yeah. <laughs> this is a deeply unpleasant feeling. I feel it's one step up from being in a body bag, like I've been discarded in the middle of a field. An admirable test, but it's the inflatable tent that will provide most inspiration for the high tech campsite I'm planning to build. City professionals love to groom, but they also need time to swim, pump iron, and make money so I've given them some speedy grooming gadgets to see if they can make their morning transition to work even faster. We start with the non-men. Check this, a professional airbrush makeup machine for spraying your face with morning makeup. It feels so much nicer than foundation. You had spray on makeup. The blusher was a bit bright. Yeah, look, I look like a clown. <laughs> Look at my cheek! <laughs> OK, and the curling tongs machine, was that quicker yeah, I really than...? really liked it. For hairstyling, the state of some kind of art, hair curlers. I think it's easier to use in the wand. This you literally clamp it down and it's done for you. We have one other thing which may be of interest to you. Do you all possess nails? Yes. yes. There's a nail printing machine and it's over there. For intricate designs on your fingertips, a vending machine which instantly prints onto your nails. It also has a camera here, so you can take pictures of your own face and then print them on your nails. Now remove the digit. Wow! How long is it taking you currently to I lovingly hate... put pictures of me onto your nails? <laughs> <laughs> I hate getting my nails done. Right. So, that's all right. Yeah, that's quite cool. So, in all, it feels like we've had moderate to quite good success, I'd say, today. But don't despair that you don't have my face printed on your nails. <laughs> Something that I'd previously only seen in my worst nightmares. <laughs> wow. Yeah. I'm going to go home and put them straight on. Well, you must. I've also given some grooming gadgets to some city men in the adjacent changing room. Like this high-tech toothbrush. Timer. Connected to an app, it tells you how long and where to brush. Next quadrant. All via Bluetooth. How was the tooth system? Apparently, you're supposed to brush for two minutes. I think I brush for three minutes. Well, you're waiting an extra 50% of your life. <laughs> exactly. You had the goatee kit, you had a <gasps> shaver. I found it to be a little awkward. For unsteady morning hands, the goatee saver claims to provide a fast, perfectly shaped beard every time. It didn't save me any time particularly, and I, it certainly didn't help on the precision front either. Precision is key, as Craig David knows. Absolutely. I do have something that I'm close to bursting with excitement about. This little device removes unsightly nasal hair. This is great. It looks, at the moment, like you're having the world's tiniest fondue party. <laughs> yeah. Is this going to save you time on your nasal hair grooming routine? Let's go for it. You could be making a business call. You could be saying, buy, sell. They don't know that you've got a nose stick in. At the end, sold, pull. Ah. Oh. <laughs> wow. 
you all look like you've made quite a haul. So, <laughs> yeah, which is um, really so that's yeah. pleasing. The kids have rightly hailed the playground a triumph, but I'm keen to hear the opinions of their legal guardians, responsible adults in need of a rest. What do you think? Could you leave a child under such circumstances? Definitely, as long as I can have a bench to sit on, have a coffee, oh, yeah. look on from afar. Definitely, I could send yeah. an email without being interrupted to push them on the swing. Yeah. Right. You're not What's not to like? Dad, Dad, can you push me every two minutes? Yeah. Right. Yeah. Essentially, you're you're cock a hoop. I've. I'm, I'm, I'm going to be obsolete now. No. OK, this is good. <laughs> so we're standing at the scene of a triumph, <laughs> is what we're standing at. Yeah. Not for the first time, I'm utterly vindicated. <laughs> and um, I can proceed to moonwalk around the entire perimeter. And finally, my signature piece, a gadget that stops parents from being soaked. This robot is a water-fighting robot which also has my face in it to give the seamless illusion that it is me, because the musculature and the body is modelled on my own. So I think the safest thing for us is to step back and let this robot battle the children. Move it's just away. water. Move it's away. just water. OK, don't point at me. <laughs> back. Point, yeah. The control system lets the robot take aim at any children foolhardy enough to approach. While it is waterproof, it could be vaguely frightening looking, which is why I've given it a very non-threatening face. I stay dry, the kids have fun, and get some all-important face time with a cowardly looking adult on top of a robot. I don't think it would be immodest to term that an unqualified success. The parents seemed very happy, the children were even happier, and I was delighted in that I did not have to expend a mere calorie of energy. Now, of course, in the real world where I sometimes live, it's nice to be with your children, to play with them, to actually spend as much time as you can with them. Maybe this could be a whole new era, and human motion could be harnessed as an energy source for other uses. There are already plans to use the vibrations of pedestrian footsteps to power street lamps. For now, though, my automated playground is the world leader in this kind of technology. When you've been pushing the swing for about half an hour, something like this is a rather pleasant dream. Before Noel and I head to the beach, I'm asking some genuine French people to try out the latest in waterproof audio technology. Check that boombox. It's called the Echo Terror, a fully waterproof speaker system that encases your smartphone or MP3 player. And this revolutionary underwater personal hi-fi doesn't play music through your ears, it beams sound waves through your cheekbones instead. The Ion Water Rocker uses Bluetooth to transmit tunes from an MP3 docked on dry land to its watertight ball-shaped speaker from as far away as 100 metres. Now I address the French in their native tongue. Thank you for testing these objects. What did you think of them? So my favourite is Neptune, because the sound is really clear. For me too, I, I prefer this one. In the water, the sound is amazing. Do you like the Echo Terra? The volume yes. is good. Good volume. It, I think it's better than the water rocker. Pains me to hear that anything is better than the water rocker. <laughs> <laughs> so the one you like best was Neptune? Yes. Yeah, Neptune. Sure. OK. Yeah. Well, this is good news. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you. One thing I will definitely need is smaller furniture. Sofas, tables and chairs are the biggest items in our houses, and I would moonwalk across my own mind if I could reduce the size of these beasts. Fold-away furniture was first developed by the ancient Egyptians, and that was over 100 years ago. Surely we can bring it back? I'm going to see if the space-saving furniture I'm now pointing to can give the people in the house I'm now pointing to a little more room. I'm going to give these innovative items to a standard suburban family to see if they prefer them to their regular bulky furniture in what may be the most incredible TV experiment of all time. What is that? There's nothing what? there! <laughs> no, what is it? 
Replacing the three-piece suite is the cardboard flexible love sofa, which can expand to a thumping seven metres. If you get up, what happens? Get up, get up. Yeah, get up. See, it holds. Yeah. <laughs> this item is disguised as a sauna-style bath mat. Right, let's lift it up. What is, that? what is it? What's it going to be? Oh, it's like an egg-shaped table or something. It's a coffee wow. table. No, no, it's a seat. It's a seat. Just two and a half centimetres thick when laid flat, the rising chair transforms into an uncomfortable wooden seat. I think this is much better than that one. The aluminium foldature dining set measures even less, just two oh. centimetres each when folded up. Like Frank Sinatra, it hails from New Jersey and isn't for everyone. So have this family been persuaded to junk their old furniture for future furniture? How was it? You know, the chairs we have in the, in the other room for the, di you know, the dining room are, you know, they go really, you know, really flat and skinny. It did save yeah. space, Yes, definitely. I can see that in certain events, it could be really good. There are literally many umbrellas on the market. But which is the best? How the rud would I know? The only possible way of finding out would be, say, to gather the opinion of a small group of representative UK individuals. And here they are, a public panel, running a giddying gamut of genders, ethnicities and ages, an unarguably comprehensive canvas of consensus. A British person is only ever a few hours away from needing a brolly. And this week, my panel will be testing the future of precipitation protection. First up, the skilled labourer will be trying out okay. the hands-free telescopic umbrella. How are you doing under there? I'm getting totally dry. You're becoming more dry? Yes. That's incredible. Yes. But if I were to go in like that, <laughs> how's that? You can't get me. Next, the retiree is using the two-in-one tough umbrella. How are you doing under there? Very well. I think it's very good. And it's pink. We all know okay, city workers go. love consuming liquid. Let's make it rain. So the city professional is trialling the Morella double cup holder, which attaches to any brolly. How's it functioning as, as an, an umbrella? umbrella is absolutely fantastic. You know, you can have your drink and you want to take a selfie, like... Yeah. It really works. Mm. The student is testing the accurately named colour-changing umbrella. Oh dear, that's small. The hydrochromatic ink is white when dry, but a coterie of colours when wet. Well, we're getting an incredible visual treat over here, I, I can tell you. I, I bet you are. Ah, low back. Now that our four umbrella gadgets have been tested in real-life conditions, it's time to reveal the nation's favourite. Panel, you've all acquitted yourself admirably. You seem drier than I. But what is the verdict? We all agree that two-in-one tough umbrella and that's quite good because you have like two people under it you as well. You can have two people under so it without like poking each other's eyes. Well, that is what we want. The nation has spoken. The two-in-one tough umbrella from Japan is the umbrella of the week and perhaps of all time. Hello, technical staff member. I'd like to travel by taxi without having to engage buffoons like this in banter. No offence. OK, don't fail me. Bye. A bit awkward, actually. Well, I've just briefed my technical staff in that rather moving scene you just saw, but not even I can expect instant results. Hence, my public transport odyssey must, and in a very real sense, will continue. Meanwhile, check my public panel. Four people who represent all Britain. Their duty to test gadgets. In this case, gadgets for transporting stuff. For retired people, bus travel can be more productive with the Acero Industries Defender Bag. It's a backpack that swivels round to become an iPad-holding mobile desk. I don't personally take long bus or train journeys, yeah. but if I did, I think I'd probably find this quite useful. Yeah. For manual workers looking to transport themselves and their chattels, the briefcase. I think it's very 70s. Yes, it's good for the skateboarder who yes. has no pockets. Yes. For city workers who want to keep things close to their chest or their back, the BC vest has a built-in rucksack. 
would you wear it on a day-to-day -day basis? No, it's just, it really is just a bit bulky. The force bag allows yeah. students to charge tablets, phones and laptops. So many times I've gone out, see it's charging now, Yes. I've gone out and my phone runs out of battery and I can't really do anything about it, so this would like definitely solve that problem for me. So you no doubt tested all the gadgets thoroughly and conscientiously, but which did you like best? We decided on the uh, force bag because you could like charge your mobile devices on the go and you also have an app which tells you if you leave your bag behind. It's the word of Britain, the force bag. It's the transportation gadget of the week. I'm going to sit down. I shouldn't be stood up on a bus. This notice is, this is illegal. Before I pick up my companion, I must assess which single gadget is best suited to whiling away the long hours that will inevitably be spent sheltering from the rain. And to help me, I've assembled a public panel for average individuals chosen for their averageness. When it comes to affordable gadgets, they are four people who together make up Britain. The panel have been given a selection of gadgets and between them they'll decide which one, if any, provides most entertainment for a rainy day in Britain. Get the six, you get the ones, you get First the up, our student and retiree are testing the Dice got? Plus. <laughs> Every time. <laughs> this Dice and tablet are connected via Bluetooth and have a series of interactive games. Come on, this time. There are even board games where you don't have to move pieces. Wow! Searching for Dice. Here it is. <laughs> Just <laughs> present it. Technically Next, leaving our city professional field. and skilled manual worker right. are testing the okay. Bee Kick Bee. You're yeah. going to lose. You're going to lose. Ready? These yeah. robots are controlled by Bluetooth yes. via your smartphone and can compete <laughs> in a multitude of games. Yay! <laughs> How is the Kick Bee? Awesome. Right. I don't really like it that much. It's like the World Cup. There's already conflict here. The Power Up 3.0 is the world's first paper airplane that you can control with your smartphone. If you call this okay, control, okay. look, there we go. <laughs> it's so difficult to get it to do it properly. I think it went under the stool. Oh god, I wonder who that. Went a bit further though, didn't it, that time? Yeah. What better yeah, a pastime like when stuck indoors than to watch a ball yeah. roll around the house? It's perfect for you, isn't it? <laughs> Behold the Sphero 2.0, a smartphone-controlled robot ball. You can change the colour. Oh, really? Any colour you like. OK, well, let's... matches your eyes. <laughs> let's go for yellow. <laughs> As in all human relationships, there can only be one victor. And after heated and thorough debate, the group have finally agreed on our public panel prize winner. The robot football game. Even girls can play. Wow. Well... From that ringing and ultimately misogynistic endorsement, we have to lionise the kick bee that Britain, as one, has chosen. And who better to test them than my public panel, a quartet of humble citizens chosen to provide a representative sample of our United Kingdom. The gig pack allows you to transport your shopping and your transport in one paradigm-busting system. How does it handle? Is it...? Oh, it handles OK. OK. It does handle OK. Which begs the question, why? You know, we just thought whether it would make sense to have a scooter and then have a regular backpack. Sure. What you're saying is it would make sense for this not to be what it is. <laughs> If you have a bike, and some do, then you can use the reel to carry your shopping home. The elasticated straps are held in place by stickers on the frame and will stretch to accommodate all manner of items. You couldn't get that much in there because where are your legs going to go? Yes. And if you had eggs in there... You don't want to chafe against your produce. Well, you could end up with an omelette by the time you got home. That is true. Here as well, so... Whoa, OK. <laughs> Does that work? <laughs> The Herb E gives shoppers or commuters a 20 mile range and a 15 mph top speed once they have mastered the hobby horse riding Ooh. position. It's not actually that bad. Really? Once you get used to it, it's actually quite easy. Uh, all right. In an outrage of prejudice, our retiree is tasked with assessing the hook and go, the easier way to get so your bags home. This is a very simple gadget, but it's really useful too. Yes. Well, your testing has been invaluable. Could you tell me how it went? The best one we found is the Irby 
It's yes. um, got power. Good. And it's a lot of fun. It even has like, the, you can put your smartphone into it so you could charge it as well. Well, there we have it. The transportation device system of the week is the Urbi. The nation as one has spoken. Manual labourers and students are two of the key groups in our country who enjoy a fruit-based dessert. The Yunanas turns frozen fruit into an edible slurry. It's quite fast actually, I'm quite yeah. surprised how fast it is. It's not noisy at all, is it? <laughs> a dairy-free, low-fat alternative to ice cream or yoghurt or yoghurt. That's really good. That's it's very tasty. Well. Would you use the Yonana at I'm home? Definitely, it's really healthy because there's no dairy, it's just the fruit. City workers and the retired routinely crave alcohol, so who better to appraise the Coravin or Coravan wine access system? A long needle pierces the cork. The bottle is then pressurised so the wine can be poured out through the needle. But because the hole made is so narrow, it closes up when you remove the Coravin or Coravan so you can save the rest of the bottle. Good heavens, look at that. I know another way of why I'm not going off. <laughs> Drink it. Cheers. <laughs> The hot dog toaster allows you to warm hot dog sausages and hot dog rolls in one handy appliance. An idiot-proof uh, way of making hot dogs. So even you could do it. Yes, even <laughs> I could do it. Turn anything into a snack on a stick with the Stick Snack Maker. Coat your ingredients in batter, then cook them. It's hot. I don't know that nice is the word I'd use. I'm sure the debate has raged long and hard, and you've come to some kind of hard-won consensus. Yeah, we, are, as the representatives of Britain, we've decided that the um, pop-up hot dog toaster is the winner this week. It's as if 63 million people have spoken as one, and indeed they have, because the hot dog toaster is the gadget of the week. Today, we are going to test space-saving gadgets, which I've secreted in this futuristic dystopian world for you to test within an inch of their lives. Are you prepared to do this? Yes. Please do so, report back with your verdicts and enjoy the snacks. I will see you later. First, a versatile centerpiece that adjusts to changing storage and coffee table needs, allow my panel to share snacks humanely. Oh, that's very clever. The easy bed easy takes blow-up beds oh, to the next awesome. level. Oh, oh, oh. God, that's quite loud. Not only does it have a built-in pump, it has legs, ensuring a user-friendly height. Once unzipped, it will inflate or deflate itself in just two minutes. <laughs> it's quite, quite firm. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. I think it's comfortable. Without wishing to lazily accede to stereotypes, I've chosen the city worker and student to not only examine the bed, but also a drinks cabinet. The feckless pair. My concern is that you need space in order to open it, otherwise you would have to move it from the space that it was currently in to a larger space, and you know, then you're expending energy, and you might be too exhausted <laughs> to drink at the end. Plus well, the calories you're burning to drink more. Sure, yes. And for all Britain's retired people and skilled manual workers, another bed with space-saving properties. OK, here we go. It is the world's thinnest TV bed, oh, as in the foot of the bed is a mere 140 millimetres. Scared of kicking it when you get into more movable action to... So your concern is, in a moment of fatigue passion. or rage... Passion. ..or passion, that you would lose your grip or footing and your extended foot would crash through the flat-screen TV? Yes, indeed. Well, that is a legitimate concern. Superb gadgets, without doubt. But which is most superb? You have come to a conclusion. What is your favourite gadget? We have decided on the EZ or EZ bed as being the gadget of the week. Well, a triumph for the EZ bed there. I couldn't be more pleased for it. Instead of the guitar, what about the G-tar with its amazingly different spelling? Dock your phone, open the inevitable app, and LEDs in the fretboard light up to tell you where to place your fingers. Will it turn all Britain's retired people and city workers into <laughs> musicians? I'm sensing that you feel positively about this. 
Well, I think so, because I'm absolutely rubbish at, at trying to play any musical yeah. instrument. I think it's a lot of fun. Mm. So, essentially, what I'll do is I'll leave you to command this Beethoven piece, That's and right. it feels improved by playing it one note every minute. <laughs> <laughs> Neither our student or skilled manual worker has attained their Taekwondo black belt, but now they have an app to compound their humiliation. Freeze a motion captured grandmaster and move around him matrix style to help you perfect your moves. <laughs> That's so difficult, it's so high. Higher. See, there we go. You, you, oh. you're, doing, you're doing it now, you're doing it now. I think, I think, you, should have, I think you should have a you go. You should have a go. <laughs> I just daren't risk the suit. <laughs> what if you were more golfy than punchy kicky? Then there's the ZEP sensor, which attaches to your hand and analyzes your golf swing. A smartphone app feeds the information back to you so you can get your golf game right tight. Your club speed was 64 miles an hour. Your hand speed, 25 miles an hour. Any of these gadgets are a cause for cerebral celebration. But in the brutal arena of factutainment television, there's only room for one victim. What do you like best? I like the guitar. Guitar. Yeah. Guitar. Yeah. Why the guitar? We think that you can sit with that and have fun and you can get a tune out of it eventually. I'm not going to challenge you. Your assertion seems profound, complex, and in total unison. It is the guitar. It's the gadget that has triumphed. The nation has spoken. We're going to test gadgets for the stay-at-home worker. You may now leave and test the gadgets. Yes. <laughs> First up are the retiree and skilled manual labourer. Ironically, the two people least likely to work from home. This is called a true grip. Because you grip hold of it, you type from the back. It's kind of like a keyboard on the back. As you press the relevant button, it shows up on the front. I'm a bit hard pushed, really, to see the point. I have the LaVolta laptop table. There's a fan in the bottom to keep my uh, legs warm and my laptop cool. But while three of my panel are hard at toil testing gadgets, I can't find the city professional. So the student and I put in a video call. What have you been doing today? Have you been testing as agreed? I have indeed. We just wanted to make sure that you weren't doing anything else. You weren't just what would you think? In a nice suit, see? Why do you mention your suit? Because it shows that I'm working hard. Right. He's just joshing in a good-natured manner. That suit is in fact a set of suit jammers, comfortable gym jams disguised as a business suit. The perfect prop for skiving off, even if you are booked in for an important video conference call and should be taking it more seriously. I think something stinks. Forget to... I think he's put himself offline. After a frank and non-combative dialogue, the panel have chosen the nation's favourite. Without any doubt, it would be the suit jammers. Yes, a gadget I can fully put every ounce of my personal being into. Here are three mean machines, each representing 20 million Britons. My public panel. This week, gadgets to take the hard work out of your weekend leisure time. Whilst I like to keep my hours spent outdoors to a minimum, others take part willingly in the weekend illusion called gardening. And with the Cooper's 3-in-1 garden vacuum, leaf clearing can be made even more pleasurable than it no doubt already is. I think that would do to the garden what James Dyson did to the house. I'm pretty impressed with that. Yeah, it's very light and easy to use. So it blows, it sucks, it shreds. Jeez, get a run. Barbecue, shall we? A forgotten sausage on the barbecue can turn your weekend into a nonsense. Wouldn't like to have been to this barbecue, would you? But those terrifying days are at their end. The grill boss is the world's first automatic barbecue cleaning robot. Well, I like anything that's going to help me do with the cleaning. Oh, oh she's away. Just set to one of three cleaning programs, and an alarm will let you know when the chore's complete. I've got reservations. To be honest with you, if you just get a brush when it's hot, <laughs> it's done. Weekend weed removal is henceforth tasked to the weed spinner, as it capably vanquishes undesirable plants with its weed spinning ways. Whoa, there we go, there we go, there we go. It's not bad, that. Actually, that's taking the full roots out, so you, you do notice straight away that you're not pulling your back to do it. We have cleared our crafts away from the table. 
and we must now talk about gadgets. Please deliver me your verdict. Number one, Richard, was the Coopers three-in-one garden vacuum. Well, that's good news for Coopers. The three-in-one garden vacuum cleaner is the nation's choice of gadget. Bean and leaf-based beverages bestrew the office. Can gadgets make them more delectable? Literally, who else can I contractually ask except for my public channel? Who in the modern office has time to wait for the kettle to boil? Not one person in the world. Which is why we will all, as of now, be switching to the app-controlled eye kettle. Oh! That's it. It's even that's told me it's to go. boiled, eh? If you're in another room, that's handy, isn't it? It is. For espresso aficionados, the Mini Presso is a hand-pumped espresso maker. This is so appetising. <laughs> that requires no batteries or power, meaning very strong coffee is now available to anyone in the office who can fight sadness for long enough to assemble it. I don't think you go through the um, exercise. I understand. Because there's a lot of easier a ways lot of, of business. doing it. Finally, the Bodum Vacuum Brewer. It's stylish, it's retro, it is not quick. It's not my idea of fun waiting 10 minutes for a coffee, but I would get it out on special occasions. This process is supposed to keep the essential oils and aromas intact. Mmm, nice aroma. To compare it to a cafetiere style filter coffee, I can't tell whether it's any better. Gadgets that would enhance any workplace, but which will prove triumphant. Please do not keep me in this dreadful suspense any longer. First is... The Mini Presso. The Mini Presso. Thank mercy. And the public has spoken. The Mini Presso has triumphed. Furry teeth can be date kryptonite, but luckily, help is at hand. The Oral-B Pro 6500 connects to an app which acts like your own personal trainer. So, top right, it's showing me. You've got two minutes. Well, this is already great television. Would you like to take a look? I'd love to take the wheel. OK. Now we're going for the tongue. Yes. And in a long overdue innovation to oral hygiene maintenance, the app provides brushing tips alongside local weather and fun facts. Sailfish, swordfish and marlin are the fastest fish in the ocean, reaching speeds of up to 70 miles per hour. The only thing I can see here is you're going to need two people to do your teeth. You need an oral hygiene yeah. assistant with you at all times. Intersection with a moist and or pungent armpit can cause a date to descend into bitter recrimination. So thank Betsy for the world's first smart eco-deodorant. An app sets your preferences and one click dispenses the optimum amount. Putting deodorant on, to me, is a routine task. I can do it with my eyes shut. So... You just do it naturally, don't you? And what about the light? I don't know of anybody yet that does it in the dark. It's a gimmick. <laughs> And if you're in any doubt about the current savagery of your breath, the Tanita Breath Checker gives you a rating from 0 to 6. 2. That's pretty average. I suppose on a date, this is an ideal thing to have. You know, when you think you're going to get a kiss at the end of the night, you might want to just check your breath before you go in for that first kiss. Oh, Ooh, stay away from me. Whew. It's all right, it's not the best thing I've ever come across. But this wire's not too bad. <laughs> So you seem to have been testing gadgets which triumphed. In first place was the Oral Pro 6500. Well, the news has come in and they're going with the Oral-B toothbrush. A scratched or cracked phone is mobile misery no more, thanks to the Sir Lancelot's Holy Grail screen protector. It's rated as a nine on the Mohs scale of hardness. That is incredible, isn't it? OK, there's only one thing left for it. Should we do the hammer test? Oh, oh! Just peel it up at a corner. Look at that. That's unbelievable. The eyeballs. Shock absorbing spheres held on the corners of your tablet with elastic cord. OK, I'm going to go for full height. And there we go. It does the job. 
And for those like me who lack the confidence and humanity to swim without their keys, the Davis Keyboy comes as a welcome relief. So that was quick. It worked quick, didn't it? I could have done with one of these. Because I got off a boat a little bit the worse for wear. I dropped my keys in the canal. We are divided by a distressed table, but united in our quest for truth. Please be honest with me. The number one gadget is... Has to be the eyeballs. It has to be the eyeballs. The eyeballs have triumphed. To answer that question, here's a group of men and women who have been specifically chosen for their childishness. Together they comprise what is referred to on their contract as My Public Panel. As you know by now, you represent the nation, and the nation has one question, which is what do we buy our collective children for Christmas? The burden is heavy. I know you will take it up. Ideal for the offspring of city professionals and students, artificially intelligent Anki Drive racing cars are controlled via app, putting you in the driving seat of a real-life video game. Oh, you think you just hit me? Yeah. Oh, did I do it? Did I do it? Did I do it? Did I do it? Part racetrack, part combat zone, you can win points to upgrade your car's weapons and capabilities. Oh, you just mobilised me again. And <laughs> one. I took second place. <laughs> Rematch. <laughs> Do you like Christmas? What is not to like about Christmas? What? The emote bot is the world's first natural talking teddy. What would you like for Christmas? It's not profitable to speak in hypothetical terms. <laughs> it's stuffed with the power of the internet to answer your child's burning questions like... Can you sing songs? Daisy, Daisy, give me your answer, do. I am half crazy. That's wow. Oh, that is you. so cute. It won't be a style So, there. no, it can't. But it does use software that mimics basic human emotion for a more realistic conversation experience. <laughs> well, this is a natural scene. How are you finding the interaction there? It's good because it learns and it... Why is it mouthing now? What's it saying? Is it muttering? You've got to stop zero interrupting. Zero eight, five, nine, it's very five, rude. Zero, two, it, you're rude. You're rude. The much more polite MIP robot is controlled by hand gestures or a smartphone, features seven exciting game modes and has the ability to memorise up to 50 directions in a sequence. It can carry its own body weight or a piece of fruit of your choice and somewhat worryingly makes a sad noise when it falls over. I love the sounds. <laughs> um, ours are fun, definitely. If only, if only for Christmas Day. <laughs> Thank you once again for your rigour. It has been without cease. You've tested the gadgets within an inch of their collective lives. Which, though, was the best? The Anki Drive. The Anki Drive. Thank the Lord for that. The Anki Drive is the gadget that has triumphed this Christmas.